Tom. All right, at least I know the maze now. All right, let's do it. Yeah, nuclear. Oh man, I am a master. Yeah, get in there. Run back before I blow up. Probably a good idea. Well, that's the same place I just went to. Okay, back up. What? Up? Oh, yep, that way. Oh dear. Vladdy is right. I am an idiot. Oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna tell my family now that I'm dead? Ah, oh, completely horribly unsafe fuel rod installation procedure complete. Yeah! Bob P. McTavish commemorative reactor. Phew. Hi, Vladdy. Bye, Vladdy. Vladdy, shouldn't you be upstairs? We started the nuclear rea the worst nuclear reactor in the world. All right, well, it looks like I powered everything up. Can't use that. All right, all right. Vladdy, let's go. Vladdy, you doing all right down there? Vla Vladdy? All right, bye, Vladdy. Nuclear power online. All right, there he is. I did it, Vladdy. Are you proud of me? Vladdy, why aren't you proud of me? Vladdy, I... Vladdy, I just really want you to be proud of me. Well, I, still, I only have the English muffin right now, so we're gonna have to see what these other rooms contain. I can't see a thing. Perhaps if we turned around. Oh, don't be ridiculous. This is a perfectly nice place to stand. Well, I can't argue with that logic. Neither can I. Are the corn supposed to be trying to kill me? Oh, I think they might have, actually. All right, well, these three guys are gone. Kind of glad, though, considering they wouldn't let me out. Door to hook room four. West hook one. Wait, what? What is this stupid name? Good question, Vladdy. Very good question. I need a control console for it. Oh. It's an existentially unstable rock! This rock has no idea that whether it's a rock, a facsimile of a rock, an amalgamation of many rocks, or a non-rock. By picking it up, you've undone all of his conclusions up about the world up to this point. You have named it Wallace. Mabel, Wallace, and Chauncey. Huh? Well, if I get locked in here, I know I know how to get out. Through that loose grate again. But I won't need to do that. For the time being, anyway. English, muffin English, muffin English, muffin I love you. Mwah. Some point that English muffin's gonna have a use that's gonna save the world. Calling it right now, last cutscene, I eat that English muffin. Even though, it says it's inedible. Item can- oh, I need a- a wheel. A wheel in the sky that keeps on turning. Don't know where I'll be tomorrow. Alright, so I can't do anything there. And I only have the English muffin right now. There was nothing I could pick up in the containment room, was there? Then... 
What was up here again? Remember it was rainbow colored, which made me feel a little bit better about myself. And remember, a happy employee is one that doesn't realize they're getting screwed over. Submarine access. Is there anything else in here? I don't believe there was. Yeah, no, I opened the cello case and the nuclear the nuclear fuel rod was inside. And Yep, nothing. Alright, I should probably have another look around that uh that other area I was in. Just as soon as I get down the stairs. Down the stairs. Down the stairs. Down the stairs. At the bottom of the stairs. Actually, did I go up this way yet? This is where I probably just... No, oh, right. I couldn't go up that way because of the... I could go up the other way, I think, because of the, the door didn't have a handle on it. More of the... Nope, it was this door I couldn't get the handle on. Dang it! Well, back over to the other side, then. Jesus, I love the ambience in here. The fog rolling in across the ground, the damp, damp tunnel of the pipe. It's like, it's definitely a comedy game, but it's also got like this really, really like unsettling mystique to it. Plus the corn is freaky as hell. I mean, like the standard corns are funny. I like the standard corns. Again with the crawling? Yeah, please. Oh, what is Vlade doing here? Is this Vlade's purpose? Crawling <clears throat> and climbing through stupid <clears throat> junk to get <clears throat> more stupid junk? <clears throat> and for what? This stupid garbage? This is useless. No use. No purpose. Just more garbage. Garbage for idiots. Always. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh. oh, garbage. Flatty, are you okay? Yeah, damn, yeah, blue, blue. Hope this garbage worth Vladi suffering, but I already know the answer. No, because it's garbage. <sighs> what stupid thing is next? Well, Vladi, I know what it's useful for. Look, Vladi is really starting to hate vents. I activated the hook! What does it do? So, this is what stupid thing does? Vladdy still think it garbage. I think you did was really important. Yeah, probably. Uh... Let me think you may have problem, idiot. You take too much garbage. Door wheel! The door wheel fell off the door, and now I can use it on the other one! Let's go! Down the creepy purple and red tunnel. Across the creepy green and red tunnel. Also purple as well. Because at the bottom it has mist that's heavier than air. Fun science fact. I don't know. I think fog is like a... I don't think it's a density thing, I think it's a pressure thing. Like a pressure and humidity thing. Ba-boom! Now we can enter West Hook 2! Activate next hook! Oh dang! Oh dang! Oh dang, what's happening? Oh dang! Chitanya Vesilo. Why is this place so stupid? Nothing works. Idiot American machines. Well done, idiot. Breaking it will help. Stupid. You should take that dumb piece. See if you can fix it. I like to think that the claw has a personality of its own. 
Broken half of gear. Bob, how is a one-way pneumatic tube at all useful? What part of order elevators did you not understand? This is this stupid thing is an expensive and completely useless death trap, twit. Cordially, Ted. Well, I need an entire gear for that. But the question is, where's the rest of the gear? Ah, oh, great, I need a stepladder! Where am I supposed to find a stepladder? Gear should look like that. Does it look like that? Hmm. Uh, wait, there might be another vent for Vladdy to crawl into. I keep seeing like flashes of white, and I keep thinking it's stuff that I'm that I'm just like scrolling by too quickly. Eh. No, I can't jump. That's a, just a horrible reminder that I can't jump. Let's see. Where can I find other gear pieces? Hmm. 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 Well, hopefully I can get the pneumatic tube open. Uh, what does the gear say? You need to figure out a way to repair this broken gear if you want to raise the, uh, the giant hooked into the sky. The fact you know nothing about engineering, mechanical repairs, or finding things means this will probably go very smoothly. It, it, you know, he's not wrong. I'm very bad at finding things. Alright, I need a stepladder. Where is a stepladder? Who is a stepladder? Why is a stepladder? Have I always been a stepladder? Wait a minute! I can use the gear at the other one! Because probably that uses gears as well. And it won't need it anymore since I already activated it. I'm blocked in! What's over here? What? It's the way I came. What's back up here then? This is very suspicious. So where would the rest of that... So let's see, that's a closet. I'm trying to think of anything else around here that was blocked off by boxes. Wait! The elevator to level two? Ah -ha -ha -ha! Whoa! And I'm stuck in here now. With my half a gear. And Vladdy. Vladdy told you where he is from. Vladdy is from small box. Very dark. That stupid idiot brought him out of box, and it was sad. Now we are here. Okay, that was Vladdy's life story. Bob, you stupid dummy! Why you commission? Why you commission that artist to make these maps? They are unreadable. Everyone is getting lost down here. Well, he's not wrong. Lazy mystery novel two. After an unexpected hit, the mal uh, the maligned author was forced to write a sequel. This time, he saved everyone uh, the trouble of reading the book altogether, revealing the killer on the back flap. The novel actually chronicles the detective's strug struggle of returning a defective a pair of defective pants. Bob, I don't care how good uh, you uh, a deal you got. No more lobbies, idiot. Cordially, Ted. I feel like I keep forgetting to read half of the cordially Ted's. Oh no! There's a lot of wine in here. I now have an entire water cooler. 
You were mistakenly trying to pick up something else, but now you're in the possession of an entire water cooler. You're too stubborn to put it down, so you're going to have to find a use for it. Carrying it everywhere you go. You didn't even empty the water. Alright, well, I need water for something then. Add the folio. I got a red marker. What is this one? Welcome to Blank Land. Very slick looking proposal to rework the facility into a high end theme park and casino resort. It has lots of pleasing looking graphics pointing upwards, so you know. So you know for sure that it's a good idea. Some notable tracks include Vatland, Genetics Kingdom, and Kitchen. My god, Bob, what is this? There's no way in any conceivable universe that we can turn this facility into a resort. Stop it, you dummy! Cordially, Ted. A stupid. Looks like a scarecrow. I also have a marker. You mistakenly thought this is a blue marker, but you didn't want to put it back down lest you hurt its feelings. Instead, you will draw a face on something with it because you uh, because you know it likes to do that. So now I gotta draw a face on something with it. Button. Hey Ted, since you're so worried about security, I did you a favor and beefed up the doors to your to your room. You're absolutely welcome. Bob, you jerk, I can't even get into my room because of these stupid discount security measures. Fix it, I'm sick of sleeping in the grotto. Cordially, Ted. Another rock. A rocky rock. Now, this is a rock that knows its place in the world. Unquestioning, unwavering, happy, and basking in its complete and utter rockiness. You have named it Shelby. Uh, workplace readiness report. Giving up on the corn's ability to be weaponized on any level, the scientists have attempted to see if they could, uh, they could be of any use in the general workplace. They weren't, uh, they weren't opting to take naps instead. However, the corn did display a fondness for stacking orange boxes, which they did, so every chance they could, the goal of which seeming to, uh, to be directing the researchers to do what they wanted. Hello, corn. We got a box. We got a sturdy box. Bob, what did you think? Uh, so, Bob, what did you think of this? See what you've driven me to? Jerk, cordially, Ted. Hi, right, Ted, this is really great. Really excited to see you get into the spirit of things. I added one of my own so we could be side by side. Really think it balances the space out well. I didn't even notice that this was a statue of him. Is there stuff in there that I can pick up? No, it doesn't look like it. What the f- Well, found a use for the water cooler and the sturdy box. Now all I need is a ball and a plant, it looks like. Oh, I gotta draw a face on whatever I'm gonna make it to the, into the, uh, the face. Or the head. What's down this way? Level 3, checkpoint. Tin company. Is this soda or actual tin? Well, we will find out soon enough. Living quarters. Pruning shears? Uh, gonna get from here. A box of monkey treats. Bob basically thought that cappuccino was another word for delicacy, and ordered thousands of boxes boxes to snack on. When he sold the snacks were in fact for monkeys, he ate them anyway. Navigational chart. Uh, it's a small. <laughs> Jeez. It's a small navigational chart of the Pacific Ocean with a very peculiar course plotted from the United States to an island in the middle of the ocean. The course is more common is more uncommon with the movement of a, of a, a small fly than any nautical vessel. It's apparently part of an operation sub -aqu aquanium avidir. But owing to your poor understanding of all languages, you mistakenly think that it's a chain restaurant specializing in Italian cuisine. Well, I mean... He's got a Nintendo! Oh, he's got a Batari! What's he got in the Batari? What's he playing on Batari? I can't see. Prince of the Universe. A classic Batari game, Prince of the Universe. God damn, this bed is a nightmare. What is this? Bob's Journal! Written entirely in red pen, so it isn't much of a journal as it is a mindscape with uh, occasional pictures. Massive ambitious plans are written down and abandoned midway through inception. Sometimes mid-sentence. Oh god, apparently he had a cat or that, uh, either that or that was his bathroom. Or he actually bought a cappuccino. Uh... 
Uh, computerized bathroom. Well, I got pruning shears, a red marker, and half a gear. I think it's everything I can get from in here. Let's keep on moving on, shall we? I can't initiate the security check until I have the whatever the flowers I need, whatever the ball is I need. Uh, what was... <gasps> Cafeteria! Probably Bob's favorite place to... Jesus Christ, this is messy. Plant! Take so many useless things, idiot. We have no idea. Locked door can only be opened from the kitchen. Well, there's probably some useful stuff in the kitchen. Like glue! I see glue! Actually, is there anything else behind the... Cafeteria dealie here? Nope. Nothing else in here either. Water cooler, sturdy box. A water cooler and a sturdy box. That's how you make this guy. So how do I access the kitchen? At the very least, I can prune this plant. Prune this plant. Eh. 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 Now we just need a ball. Figure it'd be one of these lamps because they're shaped as such. Apparently not, though. I still have the red marker. Anything in the bathroom that I could use? Maybe in the shower? No. Golden toilet, though. Very nice faucet. Uh, maybe I can get a leverage on this, uh... Nah, I can't get a leverage on anything. I can't leverage shit without a... without a, a shovel handle. Alright, I don't have anything that can be used. Vladdy, what's big ground it can be drawn on? Vladdy, help. Vladdy, for the love of God... <gasps> Stairs! There's gotta be a ball in here. Yes! There's a medicine ball in here. You could have taken a much lighter ball for this particular task, but that thought uh, would require the grasp of logic that you don't really have. Well, I'm only grabbing the glowing object, so... Daily Planner. The final page uh, consists of six appointments. 9 a.m., do nothing. 11 a.m., pick up new fedora and glove. Noon, torture stupid corn for amusement. 3 p.m., item to avoid work. Four, uh, 5.54, torture corn. 6 p.m., initiate master plan. Ooh! Coffee trolley. Currently out of coffee. Hi, right, Fernando, could you be a pal and place the tour brochures across the facility? There's only a few hundred, so you should be able to do that in no time flat. Fernando, you, you, Fernando, you cretin. Ignore that idiot Bob's request. What we really need to do is sort out the samples of the genetics lab from least reactive to most. So go to it, cordially, Ted. Hey, Fernando, got more a more important job for you to, uh, than that. Need the statue directly above you, uh... Moved about an inch or so. Scaffolding is already set up, so you'll, fi uh, so you'll finish in about an hour or so. Thanks! Wait. Scaffolding's already set up, so you'll finish in about an hour or so. Huh. Alright. Fernando, you lazy oaf! Don't touch that statue! We need yet another insurance- We don't need yet another insurance claim. Instead, go back- Go to the second floor of the barn and observe the corn's behavior in, in, in their habitat for several days. And don't move a muscle! That'll throw the data off! Cordially, Ted. Hi, right, Fernando, don't worry about that observation stuff. The court will take care of their own notes. Really, really need you to hang about a few dozen new paintings that just came in. Be a pal and set that up, would you? Please and thanks. Ooh. Fernando, you tw Fernando, you twit. Don't lay a finger on those paintings. Instead, use the pen draft to draft a letter uh, for me. Dear Bob, you are a nitwit and an idiot. Cordially, Ted. Cordially, Ted. The Assistant, a peculiar book on how to be an, an assistant in the workplace whose end appears to be to do as little work as possible. Chapters include how to shred everything, an intro to hiding in the office, and shifting blame to the intern. All right, I got a medicine ball. Now I just gotta take, take the medicine ball back to the room, draw a face on it. That's not the room. And ba-boom! Ba yep! Oh my god, that is Ted! Wow! 
Somehow your artistic skills have become worse in a short time between the effort uh, and uh, between this effort and your sketch or 3000 drawing. You try to determine if the face you've drawn is happy, angry, or asking itself why it was brought into being into being to so suffer such horrible torment. You eventually settle on smiling. It's Ted though. He wouldn't smile. Ted will only smile on two things. One, when this when this contract is successful and over with, and two, when Bob is dead. Look at this. Vladdy, you said the first one wouldn't work? Glad you didn't speak about the second one. Living quarters. That does not sound good. Aha! I finally found you! You've fallen into my clutches, just like all the others. I must say, I'm quite disappointed. I thought you were more clever, more interesting. But no matter. Now, your suffering will be so incomprehensible that your small mind will stupid break! Stupid plant, why is your face like that? But, what is that? Your stupid face is very bad. Dumb plant. Is that on purpose? <gasps> Shut up, you mean furry stupid! How dare you! I am the pinnacle of my race! You will pay for this insult. Let me just. What's up, boy? Oh, give me some new chicken. You ain't see long. Chief, biting is cheating. I win by the fault. Ha 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 ha! Your plans have been foiled by my plan, which are better than yours. You dummy! Ha 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 ha! And I am most certainly not retreating. Ha 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 ha! You know, this place is filled with idiots. So that happened. Good fight, good fight. What's around here? Unicorn candle holder. And a jar of Ronka. This candle holder carving of Dave, the legendary unicorn who brought life by, by a hungover demigod. Oh, uh, Dave, the... Wait, the legendary unicorn brought to life by a hungover demigod. This magical creature possessed a near infinite foresight and a complete lack of spatial awareness. It fell to its death immediately after it was created. And Jar of Ronka, cheap knockoff of well-known decaf coffee brand. Ronka is unique that it doesn't taste like coffee whatsoever. It said the makers went for the taste uh, for the taste and texture of an old boot. It's only thing that the facility's coffee trolley delivers. All right, well, I gotta find the coffee trolley again then, which I believe was in the basement. Oh, newspaper. Local teens win Big Science Award. It's an old newspaper paper clipping that shows a very young Bob and Ted winning a scientific award for an artificial intelligence prototype. Judging by their demeanor, their partnership hasn't changed much since then. Oracle notably praises the display's slick presentation spearheaded by Bob and completely ignores the sciencey parts which Ted did on his own. Starting lab report. A lab report outlining further tests on the facility's breakthrough subjects, the famed female Ruby Queen Corn. Much more concerning than the last one, as it uses phrases like can't be controlled, the corn follow her, and much too British. Recommend sequestering subjects as soon as possible until further notice. Ted's journal. Oops. Ted's journal, written uh, entirely in blue pen, it's perfectly sized paragraphs and is the most depressing diary known to man. Others include many thoughts of the optimal sock organization, regrets in his partnership with Bob, and sadness that his own projects and experimental AI program couldn't get funded. I'm very concerned about that AI thing and uh, what horrors that will be unleashed upon this uh, particular area. Alright, um, let's go deliver the jar of Ranka then to the coffee trolley.